Okay, I got everything cleaned, wiped off the gasket, the seating, mating surfaces cleaned, and I put Permatex high tech gasket sealer on there. On the cover as well with the new gasket. And I've just checked everything, make sure everything's in place. The dowel pin is there, the other one's in the cover. The bearing is in place. And if when you go to set your timing, there's marks right on top of here. It's just a line with a circle on top of it. And there's several of them. Uh, one's for top dead center, one's for before top dead center. But anyway, when you open that nut on the cover and look in there, that's what you'll be seeing. So anyway, we're ready to put the cover back on. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got it jacked up on jack stands just to keep any oil that's in there from uh, running out and getting on the mating surface, which would not help our trying to keep the uh, oil from leaking. Oh, shucks. My problem, what I didn't see, is this new case has a dowel pin where there's already one in the motor. I gotta back up a step and get the, one of them out of there. I'm surprised I didn't notice that. Oh, it came right out good. You only need one. One in each space where it's supposed to be one. Something is uh, touching somewhere. I'm gonna get my little leather hammer and tap it a little bit. I bet that bearing is going. I'm not sure about this. Yeah, that's what it was. The bearing. All right. Well, that being done. And you just proceed to start putting your bolts back in and tighten them up. So I'm going to do that and I'll get back with you. Alright, I've got the bolts tight and now I've got, I've got the screws tight but I'm going to go around with them with this impact driver. Remember me showing you that the other day? And this way you don't strip the heads out and you know they're tight. And it just takes a little bit. And of course you'll want to use this next time we try to get them loose because otherwise you're not going to have any luck. You're just going to strip the heads out. And there you're done. Just like that. Now I had to put a bolt in here because the screw that is in that goes in here I believe is right there in the chain tensioner. These monkeys that had this thing before me, I'll tell you what, there's all kinds of mysteries in what they thought would, was acceptable and what wasn't. Well, apparently everything was acceptable. Anything was acceptable. All right. So from there, I'm just gonna set this down and proceed to tell you a little something. Your reverse and neutral switch for the indicator lights goes on this shaft right here which I cleaned it up with some carburetor cleaner got the crud off and this little thing that slips on there has got a little pin in it and it's actually spring loaded I don't know how well that's coming out for you but I sprayed a bunch of carburetor cleaner in there and 
I think I'm probably going to give it another shot of just some sort of WD-40 or something to make sure it has a little lubrication properties too before I slip it all on there so let me do that real quick All right, I sprayed some WD-40 on it, and you can see it's springing. That's what you want. Everything else in there looks good to me. That goes on like that. Now, I'm not certain how this spring goes back in there. I know how it's supposed to look when it's in there as far as getting it in there I think it's going to be a challenge alright kind of wipe the old dirty nasty crap off of it and then grab some needle nose pliers so I can actually hang on to it so it clips onto there like that the bolt goes through there. So it should be just a matter of holding it all together and slipping it in there. Oh, it sounds easy, doesn't it? Well, that wasn't bad. Let's put the bolt back in it. Just took a little finagling. Nice. All right. Now let's talk about your reverse switch. I cleaned it off with some carburetor cleaner and you can actually see two metal posts there where the wires are connected and that's what touches on that little springy thing. So that just goes back in place like a saw and you put your screws in it. Which this one actually looks like it's had the ears broke off of it but we're going to put it in there anyway because that's all we got. Like they say at the racetrack, you gotta run with your bro. Oh. Heard something crack a little bit. Probably that cover. Alright, so that's it for that part. Of course, I have the battery out, so I can go ahead and plug this stuff in. And then which basically for right now I'm just going to feed it through to the other side once I get it in line with the wiring harness I'll tape all that back up because I've got the whole wiring harness untaped right now while I was doing research and checking everything out so that and this can all be twist tied together and then electric taped so it makes one uniform looking deal over there Next step is putting the basket on and the recoil starter. Which I'm getting ready to do that head and I don't even know if I want that in my way. I think I'm going to wait until I get done with the top end job. That way I won't have that handle up here flopping around right in my way. It's alright. I'll plug them in. Then we're going to change out the coil, which I got that new coil. I told you I didn't like this one. Then we're going to put the battery in it and turn it over and see if we actually get spark. Okay, so that's where we're at. I'm going to grab that coil and we'll take this one off. I guess you can see where I'm talking about. Let me loosen this up a little bit. I can't see what the camera is seeing. 
sons of mine. Anyway, we're talking about right there. About right here. Anyway, just take that out, put the new one in. That's a real quick unbolt, plug in, plug off type deal. That coil tested out good, but the end wire on it's crap. So that's why I'm going to do that. As a matter of fact, I'm, it's so simple. You just unplug this, unplug the ground, unscrew it, take the ground out, undo the two screws, put the new one in. I'm not even going to waste my time showing you that. You can figure it out. Okay, problems, questions, PM me. I'll be happy to answer any questions you got. All right? All right. All right, guys. I thought better of it. I went ahead and put this basket on there because there's a little keyway in there, and I didn't want to risk losing that. And there's an oil seal that rides on the outside of this where it slips in there. So to make sure we didn't leak oil, I went ahead and put that back on there. And I figured I might as well go ahead and put my foot peg on there before I lose the nuts and bolts for it, too. All right. So other than that, game on, just as we previously stated. Got to take the coil off and change it. I already plugged in the wires for this thing. Okay. All right. Got the new stator magneto in. Got the new coil on. Got the battery in. Checked it. It's good. 12 plus volts. I am going to turn the key on and hit the start button. And see if we get spark. All right, guys. We ran into a snag. We uh, tried to do the spark test and found out that we blew a fuse, which means we got a crossed wire somewhere. I put another fuse in it and did a quick test and turned everything off and pulled the fuse out, and yep, it was hot. So we got a little short somewhere, and I'm going to have to track that down. Uh, Probably gonna take me a minute. <laughs> so as soon as I figure that out, everything will proceed and go on with forward. You know. Anyway, I just want to tell you what's going on. So if you don't see anything for a day or two, that's what's up. And I gotta start back to work day after tomorrow. I don't know. We'll get another video out there when I, when I can make one. If not, if not this coming weekend, the next weekend. You know how that goes. Anyway, y'all be good, and uh, see you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my uh, fishing trip video. Pat and I went fishing yesterday. We had a great time, man. You got to check that out. Uh, all right, we'll see you. Bye. And I'm not getting anything. What's up? What's up? Alright, let me research this and get back to you.